You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have Michelle Brace from the Council on Aging. Hello. To, nice to see you. I love what you guys do. Thank you. I'm going to tell you a quick story, and then we'll get into all the stuff that's going on at the Council on Aging in February. So my mother-in-law turned 85 in December. Uh -huh. She lives up in Chelsea in senior housing. So we had a birthday party for her. Oh, nice. And we had a whole family contingent, but she lives in the building, and most of the people that live in the building are her friends. So we had about two and a half, almost three tables of people there for her. And I went over to all of them and talked to all of them and had a great time mm. because it reminded me so much of coming to the Council on Aging. The nicest people over there. Um, I think they are happier just because they come to the Council on Aging. Definitely. I think people, when they get out amongst their peers and they find a place where they feel like they belong, they're much more comfortable in life, and it's just very life-enriching in general. Because otherwise they might be alone they if they don't alone. have a spouse, yeah. if they don't have family that's close by. Um, I've gone to everything over there, and they're, it's all good. And it's fun, and there's food, and there's music, and there's laughter, and we're just going to find you more space because you're busting at the seams, right? Yes, we are. We're we'll talk a little bit about that, too. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely busting at the seams. But it's really nice when we hear stories about how people have come to the Council on Aging, and sometimes you meet people that are like just hanging out at different events with each other, and you think they've been friends for, like, a long time and they've literally met just a couple of months ago at the Council on Aging and found a niche that they really feel like they belong. And it's nice when people are home alone, especially if they've lost their significant other or right. spouse. Right. It gives them a purpose to get out of the house, you know. The only thing that's ever sad is when they're gone because I yeah. go there and sometimes some of my favorites one by one by one because I, I was very close to my grandmother on my mother's side. She's a big Red Sox fan, so I watch Red Sox games with her. Yeah. She liked to go shopping, just food shopping and stuff, so I'd take her shopping. She lived in the Bel Air Towers, was afraid of heights, unfortunately. She was oh, on wow. the eighth floor, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> but my grandparents, I was lucky enough to have four grandparents till I was 18, three till I was 21, and then one by one, they were all gone. I moved down to Florida, went to University of Miami because my grandparents moved down there. So my last two years of school, I got to know them a little better yeah. when I was an adult, yeah. which was kind of cool. So all sorts of events coming up. I, I wrote down like four of them. There's a slew of information. If you look for this, this is the Council on Aging newsletter. It, it is online. It's online. There are paper copies. Paper copies. That if people want to get one at their house, they can call the Council on Aging at 508 580 7811. If they just give us their name and address, we can send it to them in the mail. Mm -hmm. Or it's also available for those people that like to be a little more green um, on the city website. So if you go to a city of Brockton, you can Google it or whatever engine you use and uh, just look under departments and count, pull up Council on Aging and it's right online to look at as well. And I know someone's working on an article for the March issue, I think about the good news that in Brockton, the new cable contract that was negotiated with the mayor is going to have a, a, a real senior discount this a time. Discount. So, yeah, that will be on the front page of March's newsletter. Actually, I'm doing the newsletter right now. Uh, Peter was telling me about it last <laughs> night at our board meeting, and the mayor worked really hard. The, the senior, senior citizens are the bedrock of this community. Absolutely. And they're the people that built it. They're the people that helped pay for it. Um, and we want to give them something back, which is what you're doing. So you got all sorts of stuff. The first one's very interesting, and it's something I learned about. Real ID. Um, I know that if you don't have a real ID by, I think it's May 2020, mm -hmm. you cannot get on a plane. Unless you have, unless a, you passport. have a passport. Right. I don't have a passport because I don't go any place, right. which I want to, I'm, I, but my wife doesn't like to get on a plane, so so much for that. So I'm going to get a real ID or else if I go on a, any kind of a trip for anything for work or otherwise, I'm not going to be able to do that. No, you definitely are going to So need tell this. us about that. They're doing a seminar over there on that. So we have uh, Michelle Ellix who works for the Registry of Motor Vehicles, and she's coming over on Monday, February 4th at 1 o'clock. And she's going to actually explain the difference to people between what is a, a regular mass license or ID and what a real ID is. So she'll tell you the difference. And the biggest difference is after the year 2020, like you said, um, I think it is April of that year, you won't be able to get into federal buildings either. So if you had to go to court or anything like that, you will not we'll no longer be able to use a Massachusetts ID. I myself was a little panicked about getting one because I had to get one last year when I renewed. 
I filled out the application online. You can choose your documents online. And it was literally half an hour in and out of the motor, the vehicle, uh, registry of motor vehicles. But online doesn't always work for seniors. seniors. My, my dad used to read six blogs a day online, but he couldn't do an email. He'd put the email in the subject line. He says, why won't it send? I said, because it's too much content. But he was literate in some ways. And I know you guys teach that over there, too. Right. We do have computer so, classes as well. So you can do that. So that's Monday. February 4th February at 1 o'clock. And that's why we're doing it, is we realize a lot of seniors still don't have the capacity to get online. They may not have internet or computers at their house. So that's why we always like to do these things there as well. So I've been talking too much. We've got three minutes left. Let's go through the 6th, which okay. is Wednesday, African American Writers for Black we, History Month. Yeah, we have a new group. Well, it's not that new. It's two years old. It's called Life's Little Lessons. So the gist of it is things you've always wanted to learn about but never had the time to. So because it's um, Black History Month, we're going to do 20 amazing books by African-American authors that everybody should really take the opportunity to read. And hopefully we have some of those books over at the library across the street. We do have some. I've already have, borrowed them. You, there you go. That's good. It's a good partnership. <laughs> yeah. um, you have something. There's a new group, mm -hmm. Better Breathers. Yes. Yeah, so we have found that a lot of our seniors as they age have issues with either oxygen deprivation, or they might have COPD, mm -hmm. um, or they could have chronic asthma. So this is a group that is actually being sponsored by Care One of Randolph. And the gentleman's name that's coming over is Di Dorseville, and he's going to do a Better Breathers support group. Mm -hmm. And it's going to start on February 25th at 1 o'clock, which is a Monday, and we'll have it every other month. And what he'll do is actually cater the support group to the needs of the members that are in it. And each group will also help people to improve their breathing by giving them exercises to take home with them so they feel more empowered about their own issues. Breathing's important. I know it. I had asthma for a while, and then it went away, luckily. And there's nothing scarier than not being able to breathe. And February 26th, the next day, which is a Tuesday, you are having Willie Wilson. Yes. Former history teacher, still a teacher from Brockton High. Yep. Everybody knows Willie. Talking mm -hmm. about Fred, the Frederick Douglass, the which had so much history with the city of Brockton. Right. So he's going to come over and talk about the man, the myth, the legend. Because, you know, you always hear stories that may or may not be true. So he's going to clarify some of that stuff. He's going to talk specifically about Frederick Douglass's ties to the city of Brockton or North Bridgewater, as it was known back then. Mm -hmm. um, and he'll have slides and then he'll do a question and answer session as well for us. So your good old fashioned phone number is? 508-580-7811. And if you want to find out more information, like you said, you go to the City of Brockton website, click on the Council on Aging tab, mm -hmm. and it's all there. All there. So you can find out about it. You guys have parties. You have trips. Mm -hmm. Mostly low cost or no cost. Mostly low some, cost. The, some of the cost. trips cost a little because you got to pay for the buses and all of that. Right, but, and that's actually through a travel agency, so it's not right. a bus. But we, we're working on a bus, and hopefully we'll have one soon, a smaller van for our uh, Council uh, on Aging as that, well. That would be good. Mm -hmm. Last but not least, I have a minute. I just need about 10 seconds. How's the planning for any kind of a move going? Is it s slow? Right? Yeah, well, that got, would be a the, good question for the building committee. We'll do that. We'll do that, and we'll help you promote it. So <laughs> we're out you. of time. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you for having me. We can do a half an hour next time. Okay. No, <laughs> right, you don't want to do that. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.